G'day, today's video is my initial 48 hour thought on the Dell G3. Now of course you're going to notice the negatives before you notice the positives. So this video will be very, very negative. <laughs> so to begin with, gaming on it's not bad, haven't had an issue, except this design flaw right here. See where the vent is, sticking out the back? It's like that on both sides. The problem you've got though is when you open the screen fully, where's the heat going to go? Directly into the bottom bezel or the bottom half of the display. Which means long, ga long term gaming, I could see a potential drama with the display failing due to excess heat over a long period of time. Because these sections have become quite warm to the touch even after half an hour, an hour of video gaming, which being the, the processor and graphics card can get up to about 90 degrees Celsius. You're getting a similar temperature air getting blown out of there. It's definitely not going to go well in the long term. This one here is a fairly minor issue, but brand new out of the box, it's asking to activate Windows. So fair enough. To go to activate, activate Windows, I'm assuming you could go into Settings, or you could go into System. Right now, if I go into System, there's no real complaints there. But if I go out and go back into Settings, whoop, if I go back into Settings, here we go, we also get down the bottom here, Windows isn't activated. So 100% brand new, first turn on of this G3 Dell, and I'm experiencing this. Windows reported that no product key was found for your device. So I'll be doing a full reinstall at some point to see if this will rectify it, as updating it hasn't worked for that. Time for some praise. The Dell keyboard itself, I find the spacing of the keys to be pretty bang on with what I like and what I'm used to. The key travel on it's perfectly fine, no real complaints, especially a fan of the Windows key in the bottom left hand side. So overall, the keyboard I'd probably rate a 7 or 8 out of 10 with spacing and location. Another positive so far seems to be the battery life of the device. Right now I've got an estimate of around 4 hours at 71%. So, so far, a good sign. And one other little quirk I've discovered. How far the SD card goes into the slot. To me, that's hanging out a huge amount, especially compared to what I'm used to with them. It's reading it perfectly fine. Yeah, so bloody far. Anyway, this has been my initial thoughts, or my first 48 hours with the Dell G3 15. I will be putting out a review on this hopefully in the next week or so and that will have my full thoughts on it, positives, cons. So I'll catch you in that one. Bye.